Hey there, West Michigan. I'm meteorologist Michael Barron. Thanks for watching 13 plus. We're just uh, about 48 hours away from the 4th of July fireworks across West Michigan, and it's going to be a pretty toasty couple of days here leading into the holiday. The humidity going to be sticking around as well, but good news. The big rain that we've seen across the region today that is not going to follow us to the 4th. Your cookouts should largely be safe, but you may have to dodge a pop up or two. This picture here was some of that big rain earlier today. Thanks to Tracy for sending us this photo from Muskegon Lake. You can see just the big old plume of heavy rain dropping out of the sky there and those heavy showers across West Michigan led to some flooding localized across the region too. You can see some flooded roads here in Marshall. Thanks to Margie for taking this video and sending it our direction. Certainly some really heavy rain showers at times today, but fortunately the days ahead looking a little bit drier. Of course, if you want to send us your photos, you can always find me on social media. Meteorologist Michael Barron's on Facebook and at Mike Barron's WX on Twitter and on Instagram. When it came to the temperature today, hit a high of 78 in Grand Rapids, 83 in Muskegon and 78 in Holland. Those temperatures a little below average for this time of the year, but on target with our forecast, told you 77 hit 78. That brings us inside three degrees. Now five days in a row with just three misses in the last month of forecasting. Tomorrow expected to be warmer than today. That's why 13 weather ball is lit up in red with warmer temperatures ahead. We're going to be much toastier as we head toward Monday. The 13 weather ball is sponsored by LaFontaine Lincoln Grand Rapids. And those temperatures this evening not going to be that cool either because the humidity is sticking around. In fact, past 10 o'clock, we're still sitting with temperatures in the low 70s with dew points also in the 70s and upper 60s. That's very muggy air across West Michigan. And while that does drop some between now and the 4th, it doesn't drop a lot and we will stay humid. We go from dew points in the mid to upper 60s tomorrow to mid to low 60s for Tuesday. That'll be the difference between a good pop up chance and a small pop-up chance our pop-up risk is going to be higher on Monday than it will be on the 4th of July. Temperatures though are going to be toasty and pretty hot both days. Upper 80s on Monday, upper 80s to low 90s for the 4th of July. If you're traveling between now and the 4th across the state of Michigan, you shouldn't have any problems out there for Monday travels. The drive should be easy with definitely some warm temperatures and humidity, but little rain until that afternoon pop-up comes together. That's the same if you're heading to the other side of the lake or to the UP. If you're heading out toward the east portions of Ohio into New York, you may have to dodge a few showers, possibly some thunderstorms that carries down toward West Virginia, Virginia and North Carolina as well. Back out toward the plains, you're quiet until you get into the Dakotas for your Monday. This evening, the rain that was falling across the region that's largely pushed on out. Only a few drops of rain remain on the radar. Storms down to the south. This whole complex pushing its way off to the east. That's going to lead us to quieter weather as we head into the start of the week. Hour by hour forecast here shows what remains of the cloud cover dissipating through tonight. Will be mostly sunny as we get into the day on Monday. Humid and warm, though, that means a pop up is possible in the afternoon. These will be hit and miss, but some of us could see a little bit of rain. They fade out as we head towards sundown Monday. Same for Tuesday, but you'll notice a little bit less of the uh, pops of green come up by the afternoon. That's that slight reduction in humidity. Could still see a pop up, but the chance is smaller. We'll stay mostly dry for the 4th of July and dry at least into the start of Wednesday before more showers and storms out toward the west head our way as we head toward Wednesday night and into the day on Thursday. Temperatures out there for your Monday before the 4th. We're looking at mid 80s on the lakeshore with humid conditions around. Can't rule out the pop up, but the chances are better toward the inland counties. We'll see temperatures in the mid 80s for our northern zones with more mid 80s from Grand Rapids down to Kalamazoo. 13 on your side, 10 day outlook. Temperatures will be in the upper 80s for the 4th, low 90s the day after the 4th. Showers and storms come in late Wednesday and into Thursday. That'll push humidity out and temperatures down. We'll see much more comfortable weather as we head toward next weekend. But humidity comes back by the end of next weekend and into early next week. The 13 on your side beach and boating forecast sponsored by AAC Credit Union. 
And now it's time for your beach and boating forecast. We're looking at pretty good conditions out there for Monday. If you have the day before the holiday off waves of about one to two feet with plenty of sunshine to enjoy light breeze coming off the water as well around five to 10 miles per hour. You may have to dodge a pop up in the afternoon, but that chance will be better again for the inland counties. We're looking at warming water temperatures too. We're now in the mid 60s all the way up to Hoffmaster with even some low 70s popping up offshore from Berrien County. That's going to be the best place to be water temperature wise. Muskegon to the north, a little bit cooler when it comes to water temperatures. And Grand Rapids held its fireworks show last night. There was live musical performances, food trucks, and tons of people there to see the show. Some of those who showed up to the event say it really brings the community together. The audience, really, the crowd, like it's like the energy is cool, everybody peaceful, it ain't really been no violent stuff. It's like it, we feel back again since COVID happened. The music and the crowd, yeah, this is nice. We got some good food from the food truck. Everything has been great. And don't worry too much if you missed the fireworks last night. There's still plenty of events happening for the 4th of July across West Michigan. There are shows in Muskegon, Holland, Granville, and East Grand Rapids. We'll have a full list of the events to come on our website. That's 13onyourside.com. And if you're celebrating the holiday at home this week, you can expect to pay a little bit more for that 4th of July cookout. The American Farm Bureau reports consumers will spend about $67 for 10 people. That's 14% more than two years ago. Shoppers can expect to pay more on items like hamburger buns, beef and potato salad. Though experts say drought conditions and ongoing supply chain issues as well as inflation are contributing to the rise in these prices. However, it's not all bad news. Some processed food like chips and cookies as well as lemonade will cost you less than last year. And speaking of being at home, we can't forget about our furry friends during the holiday. Fireworks can be very scary for some pets, but there are things you can do to help keep them safe. The director of the Kent County Animal Shelter says there's always an uptake or an uptick in intake over the 4th of July holiday weekend, and they recommend walking your dog early before those fireworks get started to help keep them calm. When celebrations do begin, make sure that your pet has access to a crate or a quiet room. Your pet should have identification with its name on its tag on a collar. Plus, to make sure you should make sure that your uh, pet's microchip is up to date with your latest contact information. If your pet does still manage to disappear, though, online resources can help find them. Social media is a great tool. You can use Nextdoor. You can use Facebook. Um, Petco Love Lost. Uh, you can upload a picture of your lost pet or a found pet to Petco Love Lost, and it will use facial recognition software to match that animal to the animal that has been found. In, in the same area and it will send you alerts. They say if you find a lost pet over the holiday, try to hang on to it for 24 hours if possible. Dogs tend not to wander far from home. And another thing to remember this holiday is to make sure that you take care of yourself and stay off the road if you've been drinking. AAA, well, they're doing their part to help the cause. The organization has activated its tow to go service for the holiday weekend. The free service officer offers a safe ride home for impaired drivers and their vehicles. It's active through Wednesday, July 5th at 6 a.m. Though AAA is reminding drivers to use the service as a last resort and to always have plans for a safe ride home. Staying on the topic of safety this 4th of July, the Grand Rapids Fire Department Fire Prevention Division says hundreds are hurt by fireworks each year and they're sharing tips on how you can stay safe when lighting them up at home. To reduce accidents, read and follow all warnings and instructions on the package and keep a bucket of water nearby in case of a malfunction. Be sure other people are out of range before lighting fireworks and only light them on smooth, flat surfaces. Never have any part of your body over a firework while lighting it. Also, do not allow your child to play with or light fireworks. We don't want anybody to get hurt. That's our mission is to, to keep people safe. And especially with children, it's uh, important to supervise them and, uh, and, and really have an adult do the actual igniting of the fireworks. GRFD says the best way to avoid an accident is to leave fireworks to the professionals.
And another word of warning this holiday weekend. It's a good idea to avoid swimming in one West Michigan lake. That's after testing found toxic algae. 13 on your sides. Elena Holland spoke with the Allegan County Health Department about what you need to know. Not all bacteria develops this toxin, but this particular one did. On top of Swan Lake in Allegan County. They're going to look like spilled paint or split pea soup type thing. Harmful algae bloom found during testing of the lake. They found in two spots, um, one at the camp and one at the boat dock. If you come in contact with the algae, it can cause rashes, watery eyes and runny nose. Prolonged significant exposure or you've drank some of the toxic bloom, then you can have bigger consequences. But for pets, it can be even more dangerous. We don't want them swimming in the water, um, drinking the water, because with pets it can happen sooner that they can have um, some different like convulsions, they can have vomiting, they can have a lot of different problems that can be fatal for pets. The lake is not off limits. You can still boat on it, but it's a good idea to avoid swimming and definitely don't drink it. If you or your pet comes into contact with the algae, shower right away. Contact your doctor or vet and contact poison control. No matter what lake you're in over the holiday weekend, you're going to want to pay attention to that kind of stuff around you. In Allegan County, Elena Holland, 13 on your side. And finally tonight, many of you may be wondering, where has meteorologist Blake Hansen been? Well, last night, the weekend family and the weekend morning show, well, they got a new addition that Blake is now officially a father. Cameron James Hansen was born at 532 PM on Saturday. The newest member of the 13 on your side family is here and doing very well. Blake tells us that both the newborn baby and the mom are doing great. Congratulations again to Blake Cameron and of course the whole extended family. Welcome to the world. Now you're up to date on the latest forecast here in West Michigan and a full rundown of fireworks and 4th of July information. You can always keep tabs on thing by, things by visiting 13onyourside.com or by downloading the 13 on your side news and weather apps. Of course, for now though, thanks for watching 13 plus. I'm meteorologist Michael Behrens.